Hi students, my name is Hallelujah and today we are going to listen to a story, do activities based on the story and have fun learning. Do you like stories? Maybe someone in your house tells you a story. They are a great way to learn. For today's lesson, I want you to get a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil. Get them ready. We're going to use them later. Listen and repeat. King. 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 Night. 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 Lake. 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 Animals. 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 Food. 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 Cave. 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 Village. 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 Army. 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 Horse. 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 Gold. 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 Princess. 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 Dragon. 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 Did you practice your pronunciation? Great. Now it's story time. What time is it? Story time. But today's story is a bit dramatic. It has a dragon. So if seeing a dragon on TV scares you, I want you to get your elder brother, sister, or any adult to sit with you while you watch the story. Are you ready? Great! Sit comfortably at a good distance from the TV. It is story time! Remember what today's story is about? It's about George and the dragon. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight called George. George had lots of adventures as he travelled by horse across many lands. One day, he came to a small village and met a man who lived in a cave next to the village. The hermit told the knight about the awful things that were happening there. A terrible dragon had come to live in the lake and attacked the village every day. The villagers didn't know what to do. First, they gave the dragon all their food. But the dragon just took the food and still attacked the village. So then the villagers gave the dragon all the animals from their farms. The dragon took all the animals but continued to attack the villagers. So then they gave the dragon all their gold and jewels. The dragon took all their money, but still 
was not satisfied. The king sent his army to try and capture the dragon. But the dragon was too strong, and the knights of the army were too scared, and they ran away. With nothing left to give, the king could only think of one thing to help protect his people. He sent his only daughter, the princess, to the lake to wait for the dragon. When George heard this, he rode as fast as he could to the lake. Just then, the dragon jumped out from the lake and was going to eat the princess. George attacked the dragon. He fought very bravely, won the fight, and killed the dragon. George and the princess returned to the village, and everyone was very pleased that they would have no more problems with the dragon. Today, the story of George's bravery is remembered, and George is known as the patron saint of many countries. Did you enjoy the story? I have no doubt. What did you feel when you saw the dragon? Did you learn new words? For example, knight. What's a knight? Yes, a soldier. That used to be their name a long time ago. How about an armor? What's an armor? It's a special metal that soldiers used to wear to protect them when they were fighting. So now we have knight and armor. Let's add more. We're going to listen to the story again. But this time, I want you to pay attention to the words that will be showing on your screen. I'm sure you have your paper and a pen or a pencil ready. Take out the paper. I want you to cut it into 12 little pieces. I'll show you how. Night, food, horse, animals, village, gold, cave, king, dragon, army, lake, princess. Did you write all the 12 words on your paper? Perfect. We're going to listen to the story again. This time, I want you to pay special attention and listen out for the words you've written. When you hear the words in the story, put up the paper that holds the word. For example, when you listen the word night in the story, you hold the paper 
like this. Night. Okay, let's listen to the story. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight called George. George had lots of adventures as he traveled by horse across many lands. One day he came to a small village and met a man who lived in a cave next to the village. The hermit told the knight about the awful things that were happening there. A terrible dragon had come to live in the lake and attacked the village every day. The villagers didn't know what to do. First, they gave the dragon all their food. But the dragon just took the food and still attacked the village. So then the villagers gave the dragon all the animals from their farms. The dragon took all the animals but continued to attack the villagers. So then they gave the dragon all their gold and jewels. The dragon took all their money, but still was not satisfied. The king sent his army to try and capture the dragon. But the dragon was too strong and the knights of the army were too scared, and they ran away. With nothing left to give, the king could only think of one thing to help protect his people. He sent his only daughter, the princess, to the lake to wait for the dragon. When George heard this, he rode as fast as he could to the lake. Just then, the dragon jumped out from the lake, and was going to eat the princess. George attacked the dragon. He fought very bravely, won the fight, and killed the dragon. George and the princess returned to the village, and everyone was very pleased that they would have no more problems with the dragon. Today, the story of George's bravery is remembered and George is known as the patron saint of many countries. How did you do? I'm sure you did amazing. Now, we're going to show you different pictures on your screen. I want you to hold up the right name for the picture from your list. Let me show you an example. For example, when you see the picture of the knight in the armor, you'll hold up the paper that says knight. Is that clear? Perfect, we can start. Well done! 
Let's do another activity. We're going to read you different sentences. Can you tell which ones are true and which ones are false? Let's try it. For example, George was a bad knight. True or false? False. George was a good and brave knight. Try the rest. A hermit told George about the giant. True or false? The villagers gave the dragon all their food, animals, and gold. The knights of the king's army were very brave. The king went to the lake to wait for the dragon. The dragon wanted to help the princess. George killed the princess. Wasn't that fun? I'm sure it was. Now, you know the story very well. But do you know in what order things happened in our story? Let's check if you do. I'm going to read you different sentences from the story. Check if they are in the correct order. The villagers gave the dragon all their food, animals, and gold and jewels. Everybody in the village was very happy. George was a knight who had lots of adventures. The army tried to capture the dragon. He heard about a dragon which attacked a village every day. George heard about the princess and killed the dragon. The king gave the dragon his daughter, the princess. Is that our story? No! What's wrong with that? It's in the wrong order. So we're going to listen to the story again. This time, I want you to put the words in the correct order. You will not be seeing the movie this time. You will be seeing the words we've just read. When you listen to the story, put them in the correct order and write the number on a piece of paper. Once upon a time, there was a brave knight called George. George had lots of adventures as he traveled by horse across many lands. One day he came to a small village and met a man who lived in a cave next to the village. The hermit told the knight about the awful things that were happening there. A terrible dragon had come to live in the lake and attacked the village every day. The villagers didn't know what to do. First, they gave the dragon all their food. But the dragon just took the food and still attacked the village. So then the villagers gave the dragon all the animals from their farms. The dragon took all the animals, but continued to attack the villagers. So then they gave the dragon all their gold and jewels. The dragon took all their money, but still was not satisfied. The king sent his army to try and capture the dragon. But the dragon was too strong, and the knights of the army were too scared, and they ran away. With nothing left to give, the king could only think of one thing to help protect his people. He sent 
his only daughter, the princess, to the lake to wait for the dragon. When George heard this, he rode as fast as he could to the lake. Just then, the dragon jumped out from the lake and was going to eat the princess. George attacked the dragon. He fought very bravely, won the fight, and killed the dragon. George and the princess returned to the village, and everyone was very pleased that they would have no more problems with the dragon. Today, the story of George's bravery is remembered, and George is known as the patron saint of many countries. Did you put the words in their correct order? Let's check your answers. That was great. Today, we have done a lot of work together. We have learned new words and practiced how the words are said or our pronunciation and listened to a story. I'm sure you had fun. We have come to the end of our program. But before we go, we have an activity you can do at home after the program has ended. I want you to write a short story Imagine yourself as George. George had a lot of adventures, right? And when he heard about the problem in the village, he did everything he can to help the people. What would your adventure be? What would you do to help your brother, your sister, your mom or dad, or anyone you love that lives around you? What would your adventure be? I want you to write a short story. And next, I want you to draw yourself as a knight. Remember what a knight is? Yes, a soldier. And what about the clothes that soldiers used to wear? That special metal that protects them when they fight. What is it called? An armor. So, I want you to draw your own armor and yourself as a knight. When you're done, please, Show it to someone and read your short story. It's going to be a lot of fun. That's it for today. Thank you for learning with us. Don't forget, stay home, skill up, and keep washing your hands. To explore more or watch the story again, please visit our website displaying on your screen.